good morning dear students today i am here to start a new chapter that is your chapter number 6 seed structure and germination okay so seed is a matured and fertilized ovule a seed which is enclosed inside the fruit and after the fruit we will get the seed inside the fruit we will have the seed and seed contains many different parts based on which it has the capacity to germinate into a new plant once it is sown in the soil so if we will talk about the parts of the seed so first and foremost is the structure if we will talk the first is your seed coat so if we will talk about the seed coat there are two parts tegmen and testa testa is the outer part hard outer covering and tegmen is the inside part which contains the different types of components like the endosperm cotyledons etc etc okay next is your embryo so if we will talk about embryo the embryo contains different parts it is also called the baby seed or the baby plant the baby plant it is responsible for the formation of the new plant because it has the capacity to develop the cotyledons as well as the radical plumule which is the future root and shoot so if we will talk about this embryo so different types are there so parts you can see first is plumule radical hypocotyle so plumule it is the part from which the future shoot will develop and radical it is the future root will develop from radical okay and hypocotyle so if we will talk about hypocotyle it is the part of the axis of the embryo lying between the point from where the radical and uh, cotyledons are attached with the radical that is called hypocotyle and it is just on the mid line of the axis you can see over here just like suppose this is your fruit uh, sorry this is your seed so here you will see that you will have the so here you have this one and so this is the plumule and here you will have radical this one is your cotyledon okay so this part is also known as hilum so this is the part of the seed structure of the seed if we will study so these parts will get and the next is endosperm what is endosperm endosperm is the part which contains the liquid food or stored food in case of seed so that it can provide some nutrients to the developing seed till the time radical and plumule is not developed so once radical and plumule will develop radical will give the roots so once root is coming out then it can absorb the uh, the nutrients water from the soil itself okay then there is no uh, use of this endosperm but till the time it is not there endosperm comes in existence but after in some of the fruits also you can see the once it is matured also it the plant is developing also then this endosperm is still inside that one that is so many the coconut water the coconut water whatever you are drinking that is the endosperm of coconut so the fruit is developed also the plant is also developed then also you are getting endosperm so in some of the uh, plants you will get this type of arrangement or this type of situation it can be present okay now if we we'll talk about the type of seed so based upon the cotyledon the type of seed is discussed okay so the type of seed is discussed so the two types of seed is here you see monocot and dicot seed so monocot seed where you will get only one cotyledon that will be monocot seed rice wheat etc maize these are the examples and if we we'll talk about dicot seed the name indicates two cotyledon will be present example you can see the gram is there p p is there then mango is there castor is there they all are dicot seeds okay 
then based upon the presence or absence of endosperm one is endospermic seed and another is non endospermic seed as i have told endospermic seed in some dicots and monocot the food is stored mainly in the form of endosperm such seed are endospermic seed or albuminous seed and if we we'll talk about non endosperm the food is not stored it is completely used up during the means during the germination process the endosperm is completely used up that is non endospermic example you can see pea gram lentil these all are the examples now if we we'll talk about seed germination so one is there the uh, it is the process by which the seeds develop into a new plant ultimately that is called seed germination with the use of seedling and then uh, of course sunlight will be there it will be used water will be used then come to the dormant seed a dormant seed is that type of seed which is not viable at that particular time but once a stage is reached once the favorable conditions will arise the dormant seed uh, it can grow into a new plant then it is a seedling a seedling is a seedling is a uh, means a small plant short plant means which is developing from the seed that is called a young plant is known as seedling then conditions necessary for seed germination first of all it is water so water it is helping in providing the nutrients to the uh, seed okay water it contains some dissolved nutrients also and at the same time the h2 is responsible for germination some metabolic processes inside the seed is is only due to the presence of water then a suitable temperature is also needed so if within that suitable temperature only the seed will grow otherwise the seed will not grow then it will go in the dormant position so it is uh, between 0 degree and above 45 degree germination between uh, means less than 0 degree and above 45 degree germination is not possible but the appropriate temperature if we will talk it is 15 to 30 degree in which it can germinate properly then it is air proper during germination air is also necessary this air is is uh, energy coming from the oxidation so within the uh, food inside the seed the oxygen is also necessary for the oxidation without oxidation energy will not come out and as a result of which it will not germinate then next is your sunlight of course the sunlight is necessary and this sunlight is responsible for uh, germination once the cotyledon Uh, rises above the soil light becomes an important part for the photosynthesis process so if we'll talk about types of germination there is epigeal and hypogeal hypogeal germination so in case of epigeal germination uh, the cotyledons are pushed uh, above the soil okay and then it is germinated example and it helps in the elongation of hypocotyl example is there castor coconut uh, papaya cotton coconut is known as coconut is uh, hypogeal germination so here you see hypogeal germination where what will happen the cotyledons are not pushed above the soil it will be it will be remaining in, uh, inside the soil only and germination will take place this is due to the fact that epicotyl the part originates from the faster than the hypocotyl that's why it is not coming out it is only placed inside the soil example pea groundnut mango these all are there okay so we next we have to study about some non endosper uh, some uh, seeds common seeds where the fertilization or development will take place so this we will study in the next class next video so so if you read properly your books if you will have any problem we can continue in the next class thank you